हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री क्लास एज यू नो दैट वी आर स्टडिंग लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ द फर्स्ट टर्म एंड दैट इज द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल एंड टेक्निक्स ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एंड इन द लास्ट टॉपिक वी आर स्टडिंग लास्ट टॉपिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिस्प्लेसमेंट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिस्प्लेसमेंट्स आर द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री if you know the naming if you know the reagents if you know the electronic displacement then you have no need to remember organic reaction then you will be able to make yourself reaction if you know the statement okay student हम लोग जो है कि ये बेसिक टेक्निक्स एंड प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री पढ़ रहे हैं और अगर हमें नेमिंग आ गई हमें रिजेंट पता लग गए और हमें इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिस्प्लेसमेंट पता लग गया तो हमें ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री में कुछ भी रटने की ज़रूरत नहीं है ओके अब इन सारी चीज़ों को अगर हम अच्छे से समझ जाते हैं इफ वी अंडरस्टैंड वेरी वेल देन नो नीड टू लर्न लाइक रट्टम आर सो यू शुड पे अटेंशन ऑन दिस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिस्प्लेसमेंट देर आर फोर टाइप ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिस्प्लेसमेंट वी विल डिस्कस ही टाइप ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिस्प्लेसमेंट टाइप ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिस्प्लेसमेंट ओके फर्स्ट इज द इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट एंड सेकेंड वन इज द इलेक्ट्रोमेटिक इफेक्ट एंड थर्ड वन इज द रेजोनेस और मिजोमेरिक इफेक्ट एंड लास्ट वन इज दाइपर का कॉन्जुगेशन ना वी विल सी वन बाई वन इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट इलेक्ट्रोमेरिक इफेक्ट रेजिनेस मेजोमेर और हाइपर कॉन्जुगेशन स्टूडेंट इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट एंड इलेक्ट्रोमेरिक इफेक्ट आर सिमिलर देयर इज वेरी लिटिल डिफरेंट रेजोनेंस एंड हाइपर कॉन्जुगेशन आर वेरी सिमिलर देयर इज लिटिल डिफरेंस बट देयर इफेक्ट्स आर द वेरी सिमिलर ओके नो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी द इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट ओके वट इज इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट it is observed that uh, first of all see by the structure suppose here is electron withdrawing group electron with drawing group okay electron withdrawing group then it will and uh, it means this one is most 
इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिव देन कार्बन ओके एज यू नो दैट ऑल दीज बॉन्ड्स आर कोवेलेंट ऑल दीज बॉन्ड्स आर कोवेलेंट एंड दिस एक्स इज मोर इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिव देन दिस कार्बन एक्स इज मोर इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिव देन दिस कार्बन ओके देन इट विल बी इट विल पुल सेल्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन टूअर्ड इट सेल्फ एंड हियर विल बी पार्सियल नेगेटिव चार्ज हियर विल बी पार्सियल पॉजिटिव हियर विल बी पार्सियल पार्सियल पॉजिटिव as the distance will increase partial charge will be decreases or weaker similarly you can see that suppose here is x x sorry c c and here is y and this one is electron releasing group releasing group and uh, this is less electronegative than electro negative than carbon okay then carbon what will happen here you said it means carbon chain will pull electron itself ओके एंड देन व्हाट विल हैपन हियर हियर विल बी पॉजिटिव चार्ज हियर विल बी नेगेटिव पार्शियल नेगेटिव एंड द डिस्टेंस इंक्रीजेस पार्शियल नेगेटिव चार्ज डिक्रीजेस ओके नाउ यू सी हियर देयर आर टू कंडीशन व्हाट इज इंडक्टिव इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट इज हियर दैट यू सी दैट ड्यू टू द पुलिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन a partial positive charge is developed on these two and the effect of this partial charge develop on also this one this is the inductive effect this is the inductive effect it is a permanent effect permanent effect and it is two type if electron withdrawing group is attached to the carbon chain then here will be minus i effect if electron releasing group is attached here then here will be plus i effect okay this plus i and minus i effect can uh, affect the different properties of such compound okay now once again you can see that inductive effect is a permanent effect it uh, it is uh, due to the presence of electron withdrawing or electron releasing group attached to the carbon chain if the if there is electron withdrawing group attached to the carbon chain then uh, this x is most electronegative than carbon it will pull the shared electron towards itself due to which here will be partial negative here will be partial positive charge and this partial positive charge affect the other carbon due to which there will be partial partial positive charge also develop on this carbon this is the inductive effect and <coughs> when electron withdrawing group is attached to the carbon chain then there will be minus i effect there will be minus i effect okay and electron withdrawing groups are what electron withdrawing group of cho cwh NO2 CN minus ETC. These are the electron withdrawing group. Here will be H. 
here will be a kyle group here will be a coxy group these are the etc electron releasing group okay this is the inductive effect once again inductive effect is a permanent effect it developed due to the attachment of electron withdrawing or electron releasing group uh, to the carbon chain if electron withdrawing group is attached to the carbon chain there will be minus i effect because on this car in this electron withdrawing group has partial negative and due to this electron withdrawing group other carbons uh, become partially positive positively charged and this positive positive charge decreases as the size of the carbon chain increases and these are the electron withdrawing group and here is the y electron releasing group less electronegative than carbon this y due to which partial negative charge develop on the carbon chain and partial positive charge develop on y therefore it is plus i effect and now these are the some example group which uh, develop the per, uh, plus i effect okay now you see the next that is the electromagnetic effect you can note down or you can take pick okay now we will see the second one what is the second one here is the electromagnetic effect electromagnetic effect electromagnetic effect this one is the second okay it is a temporary effect it is a temporary effect okay temporary effect it uh, develop only in presence of only in presence of presence of electron uh, sorry in presence of reagent it is dominant in multiple bond containing compound it uh, can be observed can be observed in multiple bond containing compound containing compound like uh, double bond coo coo h c o o o h c o o r c O C L C O N H two. These are the different multiple bond containing compound in which this temporary effect develop. Now you note the uh, note down. Okay. Electromagnetic effect is a temporary effect. Always you remember that. Inductive effect effect is permanent effect because there is a X or Y group or you can say electron releasing or electron withdrawing group are attached 
which cause the development of partial charge so that partial charge is permanent there so in case of electromagnetic effect you will see that this effect develop only when the reagent is present there okay so you can say that is the temporary if reagent is not there there will be no displacement of electron but in case of tempo in case of the inductive effect there will be always uh, in presence of uh, you can say that there is some electron releasing and be a withdrawing group will be always present there so there uh, will be the inductive effect permanently but in case of electromagnetic effect you will find that whenever reagent will be there or attacking group is there then the then you will see this type of the electromagnetic effect okay so here is written only in presence of reagent or you can say attacking group attacking group okay now it can be observed in the multiple bond containing compounds such as you can see that alkene alkyne carbonyl group and carbonyl derivatives these are the some compound where uh, multiple bond is there present and so temporary effect takes place now see that is the example one example i have to you see now now you see here suppose here is the any carbonyl group okay now here is hcn okay here electron will move in presence of this one this one is positive this one is negative and this hydrogen will reach here and cyanide will reach here okay and then compound will be like this and uh, here will be oh this is the electromagnetic effect now electromagnetic effect is also uh, is of two types plus or minus okay you you can see that if in this case first of all electrophile will reach to the this one sorry yes this electron will go here then this will go there and then c plus and uh, OH minus. Now in the next step, cyanide ion will reach on this. Then your product will be Cl and OH. Okay. In this type of effect, this is the this is the plus e effect and. Uh, now you can see that if there is multiple bond then here is HBr okay electron is moving here in the opposite direction then it will move here and then here will be CH and this will attack on this one here will be H here will be br this one is the minus e effect okay these are the electromeric effect now you can note note down or you can take p okay we are revising it very shortly now see next is resonance fourth one is the resonance resonance of 
और मेज मेरी की पेट मेज मेरी की थर्ड वन दिस टाइप ऑफ इफेक्ट इज सोन इन और ऑब्जर्व इन दो कंपाउंड विच हैव नॉट अ सिंगल स्ट्रक्चर और यू कैन सी दैट यू कैन नॉट ड्रा अ सिंगल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सम कंपाउंड सो दो कंपाउंड विच हैव द नंबर ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर एंड द रियल स्ट्रक्चर यू कैन ड्राई ड्रॉ फॉर दो कंपाउंड then uh, such structure as called canonical structure let's see the here first of all then we will discuss uh, okay now see here the carbonate cu3 minus minus now see here uh, there are three oxygen atom here is one at least two oxygen atom have negative charge now you can see that, uh, you can't see that this one is the real structure of this carbonate because you can draw uh, in this way uh, suppose this electron is moving here and this one is moving here and this is the uh, okay now you see here now you can't see that this one will be the real structure no now you can draw this structure like this so this electron is moving here and this electron is moving here then c o minus and o minus and this one is the double bond now which one is the real structure all these are these structure which are uh, represented by the double headed arrow these are the resonating structure resonating resonating structure is a or you can say canonical structure this uh, type of effect is known as resonance in <coughs> this type of effect is known as resonance now what uh, what will be the real structure the real structure will lie between this which uh, can you imagine only and uh, that is known as the hybrid resonance hybrid which is denoted by the triple equal and uh, you can see the real structure here is this is a resonance hybrid resonance hybrid resonance hybrid this is the resonance hybrid this phenomena is known as resonance if you don't understand now we'll see the some more example you but you can imagine that where should be this type of uh, phenomena if there is some alternate alternate movement of bond then you can see the resonating structure now see some more okay now we will take the example of benzene ring this is the structure of benzene ring benzene okay now this may be like this also now which one is the real structure which one will be the real structure this one first one or second one these are the canonical structure canonical structure
ओके एंड इट्स हाइब्रिड विल बी दिस दिस इज योर रेजिनेस हाइब्रिड This is the resonance hybrid. Okay, and its energy is known as resonance energy. Resonance energy, and its energy will be more than these two structures. Okay, I hope all of you understand this and. Uh, if you don't understand you can ask in the online class again okay it is enough for today thank you next day we will meet with the next hyperconjugation thank you have a nice day